Attention listeners, just a heads up that this episode is especially visual because the guys are taking us through all of the best dance moments from 15 years of Sunny. So you might want to consider becoming a creep just this once and watch the podcast on YouTube or Spotify to get the full picture. Or don't. Do whatever the hell you want. I'm not your mom. Now let's boogie. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. We have a very special podcast. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about I'm this I'm very one. excited we, too. Meg we, looks very excited over there. Yeah. Meg, welcome Ooh, back. Yes. Mm-hmm, Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Happy yep. to be here. Now yeah. you look different, Meg. Yeah. Did you change your hair? Now you were Have gone. you changed your face? You were gone for an episode and it appears you changed your face. You yeah, changed your I whole did. persona. I did. Got a little curling iron. Got a hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. It looks like great. That. Well done. Thanks. It looks great. Well, Thanks. Meg has put together uh, a fun little montage. Apparently a fun we've little montage. Apparently we've done uh, quite a bit of dancing on the show. Uh, now I didn't think that we had enough to put together a whole show of dancing clips, but apparently uh, we do. I have not seen these clips. Mm. Uh, I've not seen this montage. We're going to watch them for the first time together in real time. In real time, baby. In real and time. F- However, for the the creeps who are uh, listening or for the listener uh, watching and for the listeners who thought Meg sounds different, mm. would you like to introduce uh, our Meg replacement? Yes. The- Mara, could you introduce yourself to America, please? And to the UK? Absolutely. America and the UK, this is Mara Heron reporting live from the Sunny Studios, Mm -hmm. the RCG. Happy to be here. Now, Mara's been working on the podcast since day one. Yep. Yes, Mm -hmm. I have. Um, She's been Mm -hmm. behind the scenes, and now she's going to be out in front of camera. We're popping you in front today. So here we are. We're going to watch... they're dancing. There's a bit, there's there's more dancing in the show than I think we even realized. I mm. guess so. And we're gonna kind of go through, and we're gonna talk about these dancey moments, and, uh, and we're gonna have that'll a, be interesting. We're gonna have a yeah. laugh. <laughs> See, I'm getting the sense that Charlie doesn't want to do this. And I do want to do. It. I just you know. I like that. I like to, I like to be a little like, acerbic. I like, every so yeah, I do. Once I like in a while, to be a he likes contrarian. to say this isn't going to work. Otherwise, before. we're just like it's one of those shows where everyone's just like agreeing and like uh, just like loving each other and like who wants to listen to that? <laughs> yeah, all right, let's, know, we'll like, fight. What's the drama? I'll I'll, I'll 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 fight with you guys about something. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> we'll yeah, find yeah, some. Yeah. We'll let's find something. We'll drama. find something to disagree about. But how can you have drama when you're dancing? You can't. That's the answer. I don't that's know. that's well, that is. I believe we've established that is how people. um of a modern era, navigate conflict through organized choreographed dance. Now, I for one don't consider myself a dancer. I like the boogie at a wedding, but I don't. I think you know that dancing is a talent that some people really have. That I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's. I don't have it. I mean. Well, it's one thing for professional dancers to have it, and that's always impressive to see. Mm-hmm. But it's it's always equally um, mystifying when I see someone who's not a professional dancer goes to say a wedding, and they can just dance. Yeah, mm-hmm. or you go out into a nightclub, which I used to do back twenty years ago, mm-hmm. and you would see just someone who you wouldn't assume was a great dancer just be a great dancer. Yeah, you just born you're just born with rhythm or something. You know how to move your body. Well, it, I'm not one of those people. Was it? The, was it more of a thing where just like everyone used to have to know how to dance that you're like yeah like, i think so i think i think i think more people knew how to dance back in the day because there was less to do there was less yeah. to do there was there less was, to do. you wanted to find a mate you had to go out there and prove your worth now by moving your body you just watch a show about people who can dance mm-hmm. mar do you dance yeah, I danced for 25 years and really? taught for 15. Yeah. What okay, kind so of dance? It is perfect that you are subbing in for this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, I jazz ballet and hip hop, but then I taught hip hop for like 15 years. Holy shit. Wow. This is perfect. <laughs> All right. This, this is that's perfect. Amazing. This, and you will be the dance expert. So I'll be judging. Now, do yeah. we yeah, have any video judge. on that? Because I'd like to see, I'd like to see. Oh, can we, cut in, can we cut in some stuff? Sure. Okay. You, we'll we'll, we'll yeah. cut in some stuff. We'll get some links. Yeah. Because you could be lying. Yeah, I could be yeah. lying. You could be exactly. lying for attention. Well, I moved right now. more to the choreography side and like after because I just, you get old and. But it's good that we'll have an expert eye looking at this and being able to talk about it. So we need to know who we're doing this against. And uh, yeah. Yes. yes. So that's where the conflict becomes, yes. comes in. Yes, we need some. Okay, so Mara will maybe drama. break some of it down and yes. we'll fight her. Okay, great. We'll yeah. fight her. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Okay. All right. All right ready? Let's do yeah. this. Oh, I know what yeah, this, this is, is going to be. Yeah, this is a club. Great. 
Oh, well, dancing well, guy. Well, there's dancing, dancing guy, guy sure. who's known for his dancing. Yeah. What is this? This is public access. Now, these were his moves. Mm -hmm. Yes. He was not. He received no direction. There was no uh, choreography. No. Well, there may have been a choreography. It was just only happening in his head. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. And now here's Glenn. Now, Fox. this is some, this, these right. are some moves. D-I-S-C-O. That's a guy. Oh, I love your show, man. So I'll say, I'll say as far as that goes, that was a great representation of drug-fueled dancing. Yes. Club dancing. Thank you. Yes. The uh, breathing really good, like kind of like deep breaths because the dr drugs are rolling. pouring through your veins. Well, you're rolling. This, so I believe I was on ecstasy, right? And mm -hmm. I really like your glow stick moves, man. Mm -hmm. Those hand rolls, you know, are they're tight, they're quick. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I really am not, for the most part, comfortable dancing in front of people. I don't like it. But maybe slightly more comfortable doing it in character. Sure. Definitely more comfortable knowing that the dance is being fueled by a crazy drug, mm -hmm. right? That brings something to it. it, gives me something specific to do. And then the glow sticks, having a prop, super helpful. Yeah. Because otherwise I'm like, I don't know what to do with my fucking hands. Like I'm always, you know. So if you got the glow sticks and you make it about that, then then all of a sudden, you know. Because I've got decent rhythm. I just, I just don't know what to do with my body. And the good thing about the drugs is that it doesn't matter whether uh, in real that's life, right. whether that's or right. not you're dancing well or not. That's right. You're just mm -hmm. having fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the right. The drugs will help you think you're dancing really well. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's part of what they're designed to do. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we should do actually is because Charlie was dancing to a different song, we should in the podcast see what it would be like if you put that Queen song, the Queen song back in, just to see that. how it. Plays. I'd like well, to see, I'd like it's to see just that the intro, the right? So yeah. it's just tonight. I'm yes, myself. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a recut yeah. of that. Okay, yeah. Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. Charlie, you look like you've had some ballet training, have you? In theater? Yes, I studied ballet at the um, London Conservatory. Okay. For uh, no, what makes uh, you think that? But go just on. Just the arabesque and like your arm movements, like you just <laughs> look like you. I'm just doing what I assume a dancer would He's do. He's very athletic. Got some technique. Uh, I have some athleticism, but the you know the left leg that just isn't. Good. I'm spinning on the one leg that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh All yeah, right, here, okay, we here we go. Here we go. I like that move. What is that? A little motorcycle? That's pretty. Yeah, not like that though. It's pretty good, but you gotta uh, use a little bit more shoulder. I like the way he's doing it, actually. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm bending the bike. But that's not really how you drive a motorcycle. Yeah, but you're not really driving it's motorcycle. It's my thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So that's that's dancing at each other. That's dancing versus each other. At some point, we realized it was funny to start a scene with a little bit of yeah. inexplicable dancing. That well, they, I don't. That wasn't. I don't think any of that was scripted. I think that no. was something that happened on the day. Like you just start. I don't remember why, but you just started doing that motorcycle dance. That was a then, move. That was a. That was. Yeah. In, in no, that was videos, a that move in popular culture. Yeah. But then I think I call it. I say I call it by the name. What did I say? Bending the bike or doing something? No, he like, says. Well, he says I'm. Be I was like, he says he's bending the bike, and you don't like that. There, oh, okay, there, that's not there, really how you drive a motorcycle. There is. <laughs> <laughs> as, if I, as if my character. Gonna you wanted there to be some veracity to well, it. Well, country yeah. Mac drives a motorcycle. Sure, you right. look up to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I think, uh, as I recall, this, none of this was in the script, and it just became like. I if, think at, this was a move. This was a move in saw in in popular yeah. culture at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It was from the Young Jock video. It's going down. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know that one? No, it's but we'll down. put it in the okay. podcast. Meet me in the trail. It's going down. Meet me in the mall. <laughs> I like Danny's. Danny, hands. what's Danny's? What's Danny doing? <laughs> He's Danny doing doesn't. Like, Danny. Danny's is sexual. Danny Danny's is sexual. <laughs> Danny's looking a little glassy eyed right there. Danny doesn't know what we're doing, so he's like, ah, what are they doing? Yeah, he's a little tune in Tokyo. Yeah, he's yes, doing he's some tune in Tokyo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. This is a this is a classic. Absolutely right. This is boat music. Yeah, this is the kind of music you know. Now we hadn't established that Sweet D was pregnant, but Caitlin was very pregnant. Yes. Oh, that's true. And she was very angry at the baby at this point because she really she did not think she did a very good job here. Oh, she, and she she right. wanted to nail it. And she wanted to fling her body around like gummy. Oh, yeah, she couldn't move she as couldn't, much as she wanted yeah. to. Great. Got the moves. Does anybody want any more catfish? 
She does a surprisingly good job of like following along. She with really, the, yeah. With she the, really nailed that. What, are, the, what are those things called? What are they called? The inflatable, inflatable, tire, inflatable tube man dance. Flailing arm man. Yeah. yeah tube um, man. I will say that that's probably one of the most popular things she gets on social media almost mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Someone oh, yeah. is want, buy one of those things somewhere in the in the world and they send that to her. Yeah. I'm really enjoying the uh the musical the music as well. So mm -hmm. we're 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 being um we're we're seeing the dancing and we're also hearing some of the musical choices. This is a song that we that, that, that this this now, uh, most people associate like I get so many like you know, whenever I post something about like music that I'm listening to, people are always like, "What about Higher Love? What about some Steve Winwood?" You know, yeah. people just I don't know. like a Steve Winwood yeah. joint. Five, six, seven, eight, but, but, <laughs> but, but. Oh, Charlie, give no. It to me. Wait, where's this coming oh, from? Oh, so needy. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. guys like it? Is it funny? Yeah, so needy. Just so jealous that Forced. they love uh. Schmitty. Look, 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 you're not having fun doing it, so we're not having fun watching it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's, that's probably an improv. That's definitely an improv. But, 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 and now we get into some real choreography yeah. here. All right, wait, let's pause real quick. Was this the first time we had a choreographer say, okay, here's the dance, here's the no. moves? No, I don't, wasn't the high school episode before this? What season is this? No, it's the same uh, season. It's the same season. We, it's the same season. Yeah. But, yeah. I think, but I think we had done the, I think we had done the, the choreography for mm -hmm. the high school episode mm -hmm. before, before we We shot this. the high school one the dance before we shot this? Yeah, not because yeah, obviously there's a lot of stuff we shot in Philly, like in the parking lot and stuff like that. But I think all the dance stuff, I think that was the first time we it ever- was the the choreographer. Choreographer, right? It was the same choreographer. It was the same choreographer. And e either way, it was the first time, whether it was this episode or the other one, it was the first time I've ever worked with a choreographer. Ever. Yeah. That was fascinating. Yeah. And, fun, and really fun, but we just had, didn't have enough time. Well, if we had more time- Because all the dances leading up to that are just kind of us goofing around. Move yeah. your body however you're going to move it. It's going to be funny. And then this was like, okay, it's a dance. It has to look- specific mm -hmm. and that's a whole other animal when someone's saying at this point in the music your leg has to be here mm -hmm. yeah and then you got it mm -hmm. i'm just describing what dances <laughs> <laughs> what choreographed dances yeah. but did you so did you guys rehearse in a dance studio or did they do it on set day of no we rehearsed we rehearsed, we rehearsed, rehearsed but we only had time for, i think for both of them we only had time for two rehearsals yeah per. one or two we had days more time times. we had more time for the for the high school yes uh yes. dance this one came together very quickly and yeah. we did not have a lot of time to rehearse that I do remember that. And did they just like teach you a couple counts of eight and then you repeated it or they would teach you like a full minute of all? I can't remember. I just uh, remember not being able to question. get it. I think, I, we just think, get, okay. well, I think we learned the whole well, thing. We'll get, we'll get to the part that, that I remember specifically, you, you not being able to. I just to couldn't do it. Do. Yeah, just yeah, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't count. <laughs> now this, now, this is, is, is the greatest moment. <laughs> That's well, top, top 10 moment top, in the show. To, totally. Yeah. Will you pause for a second? <laughs> no, th this is pretty good. <laughs> that, that, First that, of all. <laughs> that Rob, that, that fat, fat Mac uh, wiggle very across jolly. the street. Very jolly. Yeah, very jolly. Like the look on your face. All of it. It's just. Can it's we rewind so, that? Yeah, can we let's play that? one more time. In fact, let's start from the very beginning of this. Yeah. And also, and we could also splice this into the podcast. This was based on something that we had seen. It well, was based on a uh, beauty pageant thing, yeah. right? Yeah, from like the 80s or yeah, so, or maybe yeah. the 90s, where it was like. It was, it was Miss America, or it was a big one, Miss yeah. USA or and something. Yeah, and this song was like meant to emulate the, that. Yeah. And Corm Cormac wrote this one. He wrote he wrote all the music and so lyrics good. to this one. Uh, no, I think Roselle. Oh, might have wrote I think the lyrics. Roselle and Martyr maybe. I think they wrote the lyrics. Wrote the words. I okay. think so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't even know what you're doing. I don't even I know, know how you did that. I don't know how you did that either, but it's great. Oh, that's my favorites. <laughs> we nailed that. Magic's in the air. Magic's in the air. <laughs> Lace and silk is everywhere. <laughs> that was that. That was okay. Wait, wait, okay. I, I the step, could the step not do and that. jump thing. He just couldn't do it. <laughs> like, like, back it up. See the step. It was, oh there was, I think he does. I think he was. I know, was we, like, he got right it here. Oh, you got it there. There was something about yeah. the you jumping off the wrong foot. Yeah, or, you want. Yeah. Look how far away I am from you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our spacing is whack. Yeah. 
<laughs> Here she is, Frank's little beauties. Stealing some day man moves. Mm-hmm. See, I think that Cormac wrote that that rap. I think he wrote the lyrics to that rap. But he might, he might have written some of it. Yeah, 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 no, I think he. I do think he wrote the lyrics to the rap. Yeah, from um, Brass and Glass, that seems like. A but very like all Cormac the like la- uh, uh, magics in the air, lace okay, and silk yeah, is yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's think that was Marvelous. I remember Sabrina from Wardrobe. She she came up to me and she was like. Um, you know, I think we should get you a larger shirt. And I was said, I said, oh, why? And she said, well, because we can see your gut like keep sticking through. And I was, I, I was like, Sabrina, that's the point, uh, like yeah. the whole point of the whole season. But she still kept like trying to protect me throughout the mm-hmm. whole season. God bless her. Hey, you know, hey, look, I get yeah, that. Yeah. I get that instinct. I, I think mo- you know, I was most, pulling it up. So you can most see actors want to look as as good as they possibly yeah. can. So everything in her, all of her yeah. instincts mm-hmm. are f- being fought. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the crop turtleneck makes it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the whole thing. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, it's I love such this. a this good look. Did Caitlin take any dance? Mom stink. I don't know. P U. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Me and you should go into a secret world. <laughs> Where no one tells us what Just exactly do. what you're not supposed to do yeah. with a kid is like hey, keep secrets. Why did the kid have the fake teeth in? I don't know. Really <laughs> it's, it, it's to give her a perfect smile. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're really getting those steps. <laughs> <laughs> Vagina. Yeah. But <laughs> it's the it's the um it's the growl she puts into it that makes it like, <laughs> Vagina. Oh, God. Uh, it, that's, this is that's a fantastic. Good but that, the, all that was choreographed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then this is just this kid freewheeling, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, the guy helped. There was choreography, yeah. Yeah. but I think there was some improvisation. And and the three of us are basically, uh, like, we're doing basically a Devo thing. Yeah, right? yeah like we're a, kind of making ours up as we go. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. We're just doing, like, the robot and shit back mm-hmm. there, right? Is that what we're <laughs> the chimes. I forgot we drew the abs on the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. His dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> All the parents are so disturbed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What are you people doing to my son? Go back to your seat. All right, who's in charge here? Sir, I'll go back to your seat. Wait, pause it for a second. I always love that, like, sir. I'll go back to your seat. Like that. The, the guy playing the dad did a great job. Yeah, oh, he's amazing. Totally yeah. by him. Is this... I love art of this in this so much. So There's random. a sweetness to this because we're letting the kid like be himself. Yeah, that's know? right. <laughs> yeah, just let him dance. You know what I mean? Let the, let him the kid wants to himself. do. Let him fucking do it, man. That's right. Once that's the right. just uh, expressing himself for once the you know the other characters are bigger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just Was waiting that supposed for the drawn on abs. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've established those yeah. in the wrestling episode. Yeah. Right? yeah, the gang wrestles for the troops. The birds of war. It's a birds of war move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How we came up with it? That was that, last. I don't remember. That was a last minute thing. I think it was a last minute yeah. addition. We were like, mm-hmm. be, I think there was some discussion about whether it'd be funny to draw abs on him or not, and it was. Oh, oh shit! Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember having Classic. a lot of fun with this. Oh, oh! Whoa. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your reaction yeah. to it, like, well, how'd you do that? Oh, and well, this just is the whole just... concept of it—the whole concept of plucking my eyes out, eating them, them coming back up, and becoming and your my, eyes, becoming my blew eyes, blew my fucking mind. Like. <laughs> 
while on this. Well, the no, I didn't tell you I was going to do that, right? Mind. Like, I, what's that? I didn't tell you I was going to do that, right? No, no, I, I meant it was blowing Dennis's mind. I like, know, but, but no, I did not know what you were doing. You, so you were going to do. You reacted properly in real time. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we've, like if you've ever done like any kind of like a drug, like ecstasy or you know Molly or anything like that, where you know just everything's like, oh my god! Like I see the world a totally different way now. Like, uh, what are we sniffing here? Turpentine. 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 Yeah. Why are we sniffing turpentine? I can't, oh, we. We've given up on trying up on to something. be like our best selves. Yeah. And we just want to get high the worst, in the back the worst off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to get, yeah. There's been a lot of negative energy going on at the school, okay? So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about dancing. Now, back in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, people used to dance all the time. That's the way we solved our problems. That's how they solved their problems, <laughs> through dance. Then all of a sudden, we stopped dancing, you know? Grunge came in. We dressed in, in plaid and, and oversized jeans. Then later on, kids wore trench coats and shot each other in school, and that's not cool. But guess what? Guess what's going on in the high school now? Kids are dancing again. Organized, choreographed dance. This was very, very choreographed and rehearsed. Yes. And of course, us not being dancers, it took us forever. We shot this to for learn a full it. day, which is very unlike yeah. our Like show. Jill could learn this choreography in 10 minutes. Yeah. Of course, we established later that this is all in our imaginations. Yes, that's right. This is not yeah, what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. I also remember there being a choreographer, a choreographer, and then he had a couple of other dancers, yes. and they would show us the choreography, and we would do the choreography. We would do the moves exactly the way that they're showing it to us, but it looked so different when they were doing it mm -hmm. because they knew how to dance. Yeah, right. Stick those lines, man. It's yeah. all about like the, the line. No matter right? how much we practice over the course of two days. And then there's like an imbalance with us where like uh, someone hits it harder than someone else and mm -hmm. it does it all just doesn't look <laughs> good. But that, yeah, that's okay. I mean, it looks good enough. It looks pretty good. For us, it's yeah. good. It looks yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Showing up. Yeah, the and audience is loving it. loving it. And it took a while to cut this, right? Yeah. To be like, oh, what's the speed of the cuts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ingrid Nelson. Ingrid Nelson. And then this is what's really happening. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, homage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Glenn, I like your moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So much energy, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, like the more erratic. <laughs> <laughs> breath in between. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Frank throws up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Charlie and Charlie D, D find love. love. What is the dancing in this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right, of course. D, doing the doing the classic D of getting too drunk when mm -hmm. she likes a guy, which we established in season one. Mm -hmm. What the hell is she doing? She's gonna ruin this whole thing. That's why they call me. <laughs> Bad company. <laughs> Getting the lyrics wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I love how free and uninhibited you are. <laughs> the the <laughs> unchoreographed. Okay. Yeah, just a yeah, just yeah, a bad yeah. drunken, just a bad like, striptease kind of a sloppy thing. boogies, yeah. lap dance. Well, I, I got a question for you guys. So, so obviously she's she's very drunk there. Do you guys feel like you dance better when you're drunk or sober? Uh, drunk, definitely. What kind me. of dancing? Just like at, well, a, just, at an event, at a yeah, wedding, like, or just something? like if you're at a wedding or I something like that. I would have to like be that. a little bit, a little bit. I like any be, kind yeah. of like that, but any kind of choreographed stuff, I'd have to be so focused yeah. and dead yeah, yeah, yeah. I would for sure fall down yeah I, I i don't mind going to a wedding and just doing a little bopping out there like that's fine it's it's so much harder when it's like no spin i'll get your leg here and like yeah 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 my leg's like nah man no no nah, man don't go that high <laughs> no don't do that anymore. i know i know what you're telling me to do but i ain't gonna do it i won't do it i won't do it i refuse <laughs> not for you not for anybody yeah all right oh this is good oh yeah 
<laughs> this has been something I've seen a Danny's lot. Danny's moves, man, are great. Right yeah. Danny's got great little moves, Just man. what I'm talking about, guys. He still huh? got the moves. I mean, playing online video games and watching stupid reality shows, that's not real life. It's keeping people from experiencing real still life. Still doing karate. This Throwing some real. karate moves in there. It's real, but it feels weird as shit. There's nobody else in the bar dancing. <laughs> We're setting the tone, Frank. You know, Motorcycle we will lead dance. and others will follow. I'm stopping. Oh, come on. Stop. <laughs> All right, let's go do some shots, and that'll get you guys fired up, and we'll come back out, and we'll do some more of this or whatever. You know, do the move, and we'll, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> We're referencing every dance we've ever done. Yeah, yeah. Elbow, yeah, yeah. karate dance. The, the that's motorcycle. That's characters forcing it. That's just that's just get like a, yeah. a man trying to force yeah. uh, a situation that's just not not happening. That's a good way to just start a scene with three guys dancing. You don't know why they're dancing. We've returned with more products to sell you. Mm. And this week, the panhandling culprit is Mr. Glenn Howerton. <laughs> Guilty. His hair isn't growing back as smoothly as he likes. And he needs a wig in the meantime. Creeps and listeners, let's get the man some fake hair with the help of our friends at Helix Sleep. You all know how much we love Helix mattresses. They're top of the line, amazingly comfortable, and as I like to attest, I've never slept better in my life, except under general asthesia. General what? Asthenesia. Got it. But today, we want to focus on another aspect of their sweet, sweet package deal. The fact that you get to try them out for 100 nights completely risk-free. Or days. Or days. You know, shout out to our uh, graveyard shifters who hustle in the moonlight and sleep throughout the day. Have you guys ever slept through the day? To quote Tom Hardy, I'm an actor. Of course I've slept through the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean... It Day or night, whenever you like to sleep, doesn't matter. Make sure it's on a Helix mattress, okay? Take their two-minute sleep quiz to determine the exact right firmness fit for you and then enjoy the best sleep of your life. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattresses and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash sunny. Now again, that's helixsleep.com slash sunny. Now... A word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. How we care for our minds affects our entire lives, so it's critical to invest time and energy into keeping them healthy. One of the best ways that we can do that is through therapy, like uh, BetterHelp Online Therapy. Now, in my experience, therapy... Let me just see what my experience is here really quick. <laughs> therapy is one of the most impactful ways to not only check in with yourself, but to discover more beneficial thought and communication practices to get you through life. Yes, and BetterHelp offers video, phone, and even live chat therapy sessions in case you don't want to see anyone on camera, but you still want to give that brain a good old-fashioned tune-up. And BetterHelp is also much more affordable than in-person therapy. Did you know, did you guys know that? Did you know that you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours? And best yet, our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash sunny. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sunny. Go check it out and live life in the driver's seat. He got it. He mm -hmm. got it. Charlie got it. I got it. As prescripted. What's Danny's reaction when you guys tell him he's going to do a dance scene? Or dancing and Oh, he's just... down. He he, you know, he's just got his funny little moves that he does. I mean, have we ever seen Danny dance as Danny? Well, when we did the whole choreograph thing, I don't remember Danny's take on it. Was he like, he just was down for whatever we're doing, right? Yeah, he was definitely struggling yeah. uh, with the choreography, but yeah. I don't think it mattered that much. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. he's always up for learning. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good one. <laughs> I was just enjoying the music. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Why are we doing this? What are yeah, we doing? Yeah, yeah. Is that what we do? Is that what we say after that? Like, why? Why are we dancing? I, uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think so. Why are we doing this? Yeah, why and then we, we find out it's because a, yeah. a psychopath is in town. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are not happy. You guys are not happy with it. Yeah. Let out the institution. Yeah. Why would we, why would we dance? We're about that? the freight train back. Yeah. All oh, right. This was all choreographed. What are the rules? <laughs> so here we're trying to like do a little bit of the choreography, like from the whiz, from the whiz yeah. you know, kind of, yeah, yeah. kind of yellow brick road thing. And then uh, 
I remember having a real hard time with this one. Oh, really? There was like some move in it that. It was well, it was like, it was because we were trying to stay so in sync with each other, and so it was a lot of like, oh shit, he's on his left foot, we're supposed mm -hmm, to be on our right foot, mm -hmm. you know? Like it was it was a lot of the like just small details that we were worried about because we wanted it to look really and also in clean. a in a real performance in a movie or a stage performance you would have weeks that's right oh my weeks god to yeah, rehearse yeah, yeah, this yeah. and i think we probably went over it twice especially yeah, yeah, with that especially with actors who don't really yeah dance. who would even do this yeah. 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 yeah yeah also you guys in all of these like the choreographed ones you have to keep your formation you that's know right. so that's right. also another thing and so you're remember trying to the remember, the, remember the moves you're trying to uh, like sort of be aware of the spacing right Exactly. Yeah. It's a good location. It's a nice. This is Philly, yeah. yeah. It's a nice street. Oh my God, man! I just had the weirdest dream. <laughs> <laughs> the horrible beatboxing just it makes it all makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> so good. So what is really with good. the baseball cap? Yeah, I don't, I, I, we I had don't a thing. Know. There was something. That there, was had. there was a reason, there was yeah, a reason, there was reason for it. There was a reason for it. I can't remember what it was either. <laughs> Finally. The look on your face. Finally. <laughs> and then the... <laughs> I'm rehearsing. That was great. Oh, I'm rehearsing, rehearsing for a strip dance. That's what you're doing. I'm rehearsing, and you're and and you're watching me, and so I come and close the doors. It's yeah. not meant for your eyes yes. just yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. not. <laughs> just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Now this is Carter. This is Carter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who also, God bless his heart. Knew nothing about dance. <clears throat> knew nothing about dance. Not a dancer was, at all. So this is so we were we wanted this to feel like Magic Mike, and so oh, we reached yes. out to right. yeah. Allison Falk, who is the choreographer for Magic Mike. So right. she choreographed this, oh, really? and I remember sitting in the um, back office, and we were looking at the monitors, and I was talking to her, and she, I was like, I don't know how to dance at all, but I would love to do something on the show at some point where I just learn how to dance, just because to do something different. And she said, Oh, just call me i'll i'll teach you and so that's what wound up happening i'm sure we'll get to that oh, that's, that that that's that's she choreographed the yeah. the dance that you did yes. the next season, season or was that the I, no it was either next season or the season after that it was 13 it was, it was mm -hmm. yeah, 13, 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah what season is this uh this might be 12 12, 12. Yeah. yeah so i just kept her contact and then the following year i asked her how long would it take me to learn how to do something more substantial and she said yeah. months months <laughs> yeah a long time because you yeah. got to start from scratch that's right well you, yeah mm -hmm. that's right and it did yeah. and it was months months okay. months okay. we'll talk about that nice. god bless him yeah nice. god bless him for doing this nice. <laughs> 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 nice. yes this is amazing <laughs> so disturbing. It's so disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can't wait to get to that episode. Yeah, very, very upsetting. <laughs> God bless Carter for being so game to, because uh, I could tell, you know, he was, he was like, he was, he knew it was funny. He knew it was worth it. Yeah. But it was not something that he, you know, something, wanted, yeah, no one wants nobody to, wants to, worth, wants to yeah. do that. Who doesn't well, not nobody. do it for a living? Yeah, he looked yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Guys, we're gonna bring it down for a minute here. Yeah, gonna bring it down. Get a little for four show. and a half minutes. <laughs> Is that how long? <laughs> Is that how long? Yeah? It's long. Todd Bierman directed this, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Did a good yeah, job. Yeah, so so Allison um Falk and Leo Moctezuma are the uh choreographers. The dancer is uh, a woman named Kylie Sheikh. So she's a legit ballerina. Ballerine. Yeah, 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 she's, yeah. She's, yeah. And she would pick it up so fast. And I would just yeah. she would come in for an hour. And then I would, and then she would leave, and I would work with She's Allison and, and Leo for for hours. But again, it was just but like like if I didn't know, know you and I didn't know, I'd be like, oh, it's just two professional dancers out there dancing, you know? Like mm -hmm. you really, I mean, you can see did it, man. You, you can did. see where you don't have the the sort of like the foundation mm -hmm. of the form. However, for a non dancer who's never really danced, 
you know, you get, you've got some pretty good lines. I mean, you, you know. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was truly months, like right there. That always bugged me. It uh, bugged you because you felt like you couldn't spin, get it right. Like I couldn't quite get the spin right. Yeah. The, a lot of the stuff like where I throw her around, that's, that mm -hmm. was easy. Cause that's just, you'd been, yeah. if I was in good shape. And then again, just practice. But then we didn't add the water until, so we, I kind of got it down in in a stance studio, like for- But that movie, months. I mean, you nailed that yeah, little that, spin yeah, 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 that man, looks like, good. that looked good, dude. Well, once we added the water, it became infinitely more dangerous. Right. Just became- We also scary. shot this on different cameras than we yes. shoot our show on. Yeah. Our actual nice cameras that look good. Much more stylized. Much more better. Much more Much better. more better. Yeah, but like you see how it's soft focus. Yeah. There, like our cameras are always one continuous focus. So we, we're using our cameras though on the audience? No, no. Oh, no, both. Both sides, yeah. Oh, Otherwise, right, because you wanted to get the whole it thing. It wouldn't have matched. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's great with working- I, The with, reason, by the way, for the audience is that I'm asking yeah. all these questions. I had nothing to do with this episode. I had stepped away from the writer's room. So I, I don't know that much about it, honestly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we would, um, we would be in the writer's room. I think I would go over to Allison's studio twice a week or sometimes three times a week for it was like three months i remember you were working on it a lot yeah a lot well, it was fun it was shot. just something that todd awesome. did what's that that's a good shot that todd did that's like crashing yeah. in on you guys yeah yeah what do you have a dolly down for that how many yeah, times yeah. did you i don't remember how many times did you do the dance a lot wow we did it all day it was like a full day of shooting the dance yeah. right but again i was in good shape and i had been practicing yeah. for a long time so i had the energy but but i was that I was is that's fucking yeah. awesome that's cool that's great that's fucking amazing. That's amazing yeah that's amazing and she did that you know like the first day that's good for him rob uh this moment's amazing oh my god i get it danny nailed it no, um that's the, he's yeah. just you know he has these danny has these moments on it where you're like yeah, there's a reason why you're a giant movie star because you're a fucking great actor. You're a phenomenal actor. Phenomenal. Yeah, well, I trained for four months to get that right and to, right together. Again, right, he, steals he just the whole stepped thing. right in it. Yeah, well, that's course, it. But, but that's what the that's what the scene that's is right. about that's, and should be about. That's, that's what the right. whole episode's about. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. his catharsis, not yep. mine. That's exactly right. No, it's both. It's both. It was an incredible experience. The the, the I think the the best part was how patient they were. Like Allison and Leo and Kylie were so patient because they knew I was a non-dancer. So probably if they would get frustrated if, with, if it was another dancer, but they would just like keep showing me, running it, running it, running it, running it. Do you yeah, feel they, like you, that this was a transformative experience for you in your life, doing this dance, getting in this shape for this season? Like, I feel like you have continued to be, obviously you're bigger in this episode, like bigger muscles, but you've maintained the same sort of level of fitness of the guy who could do this mm -hmm. since this moment, you mm -hmm. know? I, I, I just had so much fun. And there was something about the discipline of having to go through not only learning something completely new, but then the fitness it would take to keep doing it. And mm -hmm. I felt good. Mm -hmm. I felt so good. Yeah. So I don't feel as good as I did then, but I wasn't drinking really. I wasn't, I was just working out constantly. And then also just the endorphins that get released of learning something mm. new and exercising that much. So I try to keep up with some of that, but. And dance works out every part of your body. Like yeah. you start to feel, you're like, what? Yeah, every yeah. part of your arm, mm. but you did such a beautiful job, Thank Rob. You. you should be really proud. Thank you. And the patience I think is the hardest is like having patience for yourself, learning it and not being like, fuck, I, you know, cause mm. it's hard. But also you realize like how much of it's mental. Like how much, you don't, I didn't realize mm. how much of dance is mental. is like putting the, and having the, allowing for the neurons to make connections and uh, as you're using a hand. Yeah. Animation. In some ways, like if you're, if you really are, thinking about the choreography it's actually harder for you to get it you know what i mean you kind of have to like feel it a little yeah. bit you know what i mean it's like it's almost like trying to memorize your lines and forgetting the intention behind the line sometimes like if you get if the choreography really flows nicely and you yeah. understand the intention behind it and you just feel it mm -hmm. it's there for you when you need it you know in the same way that like now I've, i know i'm sure you guys are the same way you get to the point where you get so used to memorizing lines that like, if you understand the thought, you understand the intention, you just trust that the line will come to you when mm -hmm. it's time. Um, 
you know, and, and I think it's probably the same way with dance, I would say, right? Exactly. I mean, you can't, because if you're too. Say, Cause you can see his, the emotion on your face. So like the moves were a part of you. You weren't like five, six, mm-hmm. seven, yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. one, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. like concentrating on that. But once, yeah, once you get the choreography inside, it just becomes part and you just, it's that feeling and you trust yourself. You trust your body. But only for knowing that you, knowing that you couldn't just, cause I mean, knowing that you couldn't, it would be very tempting because, you know, we're all very busy and you're very busy and, you know, to just be like, I'm, I'm sure I can learn this in three weeks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But you knew, you were like, this has to be like f- way beyond anything yeah. that we've ever done choreographed and well also with the tones of what the episode was saying we knew it couldn't be a joke like a typical sunny episode right there's plenty of jokes leading up to it but like once you got to this it couldn't be one of our like oh it's kind of funny because he's doing it half bad like it, it's all or nothing right you're either going to nail that mm-hmm. or you can't do you can't have that be the end of the episode yeah um because the funny version of that just wouldn't work it would be it'd be a different thing you know yeah well trust i hear i heard mara mention this a couple times and you brought up glenn that trust is a huge part of it like you have to you have to trust that you're going to pull it off you have to trust that people aren't going to laugh at you Mm -hmm. you have to trust your partner because you're you're putting them you're i was putting her and the choreographer um was putting her into potentially dangerous situations and and vice versa where she's got to make sure that I'm not going to drop her or I'm not going to. So all through the whole process, you're trusting that you can do it and you're trusting your partners to be there for you. You're trusting that the choreographer uh, understands your limitations, but mm-hmm. also what you're mm-hmm. capable of. And it just feels like a lot of any of the artistic you know, expression that we do in acting or any kind of performative art, you're trusting the other people in the room and, and you're trusting the audience that they're going to go along with it as well. Can, can I ask you a question about like, so as you were learning, obviously you had to learn the choreography, but <clears throat> I'm sure they had to teach you like form, right? And, mm-hmm. and what, and like lines and like, you know, like what your hand is supposed to be doing. Cause mm-hmm. I mean, you have to, you know, it's not just what your arm is doing. It's all the way down to your fingertips. Like, were you having to learn? Yeah. All that about like pointing your feet when it's time to yeah. point your feet and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and then visualizing what, what, could she would say things like about your fingertips, like taking it all the way out to your fingertips. Right. And I'm like, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Not about how you point them, but how you, what you're supposed to feel in them. Mm-hmm. And it's just more about visualizing what that is. And then also retraining my brain to think, well, in my mind, that doesn't look right. And then she would take a photo of it and I would look at it yeah. and I would say, oh, that that does look right. Or something that looks cool. It's just like choreography, uh, like chore- choreographing a fight. You know, you hear a lot of, you hear a lot of um, fight choreographers talk about professional fighters and how they're the worst. They're the hard. It's the hardest people to train mm. to do a movie fight. Really? Because sometimes if something looks like is, sure. is technically right, right, it doesn't look good on screen. Oh right. yes, so, that's right. So it's a totally different skill it's set. A totally like you different. You bring skillset. your elbow like way higher than you ever would for a punch, so that like crosses. Yeah. So that you're seeing the arm go. Otherwise, the it happens frame. too fast. Yeah. Yeah, or it's too you low, it. and the camera yeah. misses it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So so something similar here where they would pitch something and it wouldn't feel right, and then they would record it and it just looked right. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And so you just have to trust them, and then. I don't know. It's also an ama- amazing community of people, um, the dance community. It, and that was the first time I had ever been introduced really to, to, to so many people in it. But, you know, there's not a ton of money in dance. Like maybe the top 5% of people make mm-hmm. a really great living. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is doing it because they love it. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's, well, it's an artistic expression that, that it just speaks to them and always has. So J- Jill and I both love So You Think You Can Dance. We watch I haven't seen every season, but I've seen a lot. Um, <clears throat> and that's always been one of the things. I was always like, why do I like this so much? Well, obviously it's amazing because the dancers are like beyond incredible on that show. Um, so the, the actual performances are, are just stunning to watch. But I think the thing that I've always really liked about it is I've always been skeptical of competition shows because if I get a whiff that someone is doing something and their goal is to become famous. Mm. I don't, then all of a sudden, like, I'm, I'm like, I don't trust the art. I don't trust the thing because it's like, you know, so, sometimes with like American Idol and those, like the, those kind of competitions, you just, you're like, I don't know that you really care that much about singing, but you like the idea of being a pop star. And that just kind of taints it for me. 
And as a dancer, like because there's the, the, so few people who actually could ever become rich off of it or, you know, or even famous mm -hmm. for being a dancer. And the level of dedication and difficulty that to, to become a dancer at that level, uh, it's just like, and to do it knowing that, you know, at best yeah. you'll be able to, you'll work and you'll make money and, but you're never going to be, you know, so it's like, it doesn't, it's not tainted for me. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I like about well, it. Well, Sadeka says it in the, the, the comedy version of it is when Sadeka says, and he, it's totally true. <laughs> uh, well, you're not having fun. So I'm not having fun watching, watching it. it. Yeah. And that's exactly right. Like if that's, goes for any discipline where if it, and I think maybe that's part of the charm of the show is that it, it's clear that we're having fun making it. And I think people are on board with that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I think it's the same thing here where I, I, I think it's clear that the people who are involved in this entire process loved what they were doing. And <laughs> it, I think it comes through. I'm curious about the fan feedback from this. Like what was some of that? Like, what have you heard from fans about the performance? It was overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, I think it's just because of the tone of the entire episode and where the character's arc was going, which is very unsunny. Right. Um, but again, I think that's why people enjoy Sunny too, is that we are um, not giving them the same episode over and over and over right. again. I mean, I, I feel like if there were criticisms, it was just that we sort of betrayed the existing tone of the show by doing something that was deadly serious. And I think this was the first time and one of the few times ever that we've done that where she was like, to this degree, to yeah. this degree, yeah. to this length, which is not just like a moment, but an entire four or five minutes of like, of not sorry, joke. no jokes, and ending the episode like, sorry, nothing. Yeah, which nothing is fair. Here, which, which is fair. I get it. I, sure. I, but yeah, but I think we reserve the right at this point, um, especially if when we're trying to do something for as long as we've been doing it to mix it up and try. try Those same things. people would be complaining about being bored that we keep doing the same things over and over yeah. again. If if we did, if we don't, you can't gone that make way, everybody maybe. happy. Hey guys, today we are supported by Huel, a nutritionally balanced plant-based meal made in less than a minute. Okay, so if you're looking for a product that will simplify your routine and is also nutrient dense. Yeah, well, that's just it, right? I mean, I, I eat only for function, you know, for sustenance. Uh, I've long said if I could ingest a nourishment paste and get all my daily nutrition, I would do that. Now, all you do is add two scoops of Huel to water, shake, and boom. You've got your nutrition solution of the future ready to go. Unfortunately for you, it's much better than a paste. Yeah. Now, I know I love the Huel Black Edition because it's super high in protein. It comes in eight flavors that taste great, including cookies and cream, chocolate, vanilla, and salted caramel. Each portion of Huel starts at just $2.50 a meal. Think of the time and money that you're going to save on food you don't want to spend it on in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then think about all the other things you could spend it on to bring yourself actual profound joy. Name anything. Clothes. Well, buddy, you are Great. in luck because the stars keep aligning for you today, okay? Because you go to Huel.com slash Sunny, you're going to get a free t-shirt. That's right. And a free shaker with your first order. That's okay. Huel, H-U-E-L dot com slash Sunny to get a free t-shirt and a free shaker with your first order. Go do it. Do it now. Go. <music> Fellas, when you're getting hot and heavy, nothing is a bigger boner kill than, well, a boner kill. Fortunately, that's where Blue Chew comes in to help. You know, they're a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra or Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew tablets help men combat all forms of ED and provides harder, longer lasting erections. Yeah, Blue Chew is an online prescription service. There are no doctor's visits. You don't have to describe why you're coming in over the phone or not coming at all. You don't have to repeat it to the nurse and then repeat it again to the doctor. You don't even have to deal with any of the awkwardness at the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Mm -hmm. And did we mention that, that it's all done online 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 this is the future friends future is online i don't know if you know this the click of a button and then boom boner tablets right to your door work smarter and harder and here's a special deal for our listeners try blue chew free when you use our promo code sunny at checkout just pay five dollar shipping go to bluechew.com promo code sunny to receive your first month free Would any of you guys do Dancing with the Stars? Hell no. 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 Okay. Didn't think so. No. All right. Not because of the dancing, though. 
Because <laughs> of the stars. Yeah. Yeah. More because if it would feel like a. Has been. Yeah. Like yeah. Your was over. I, it always I'm, feels like to me. And yet. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Also, I it's just don't mix. have. Inter- like, it just doesn't interest me. It'd be funny to like sign up for Dancing with the Stars only to find out that uh, you're not the star. You're dancing with somebody who's a bigger star than you. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I thought I was the. Oh, shit. So you're the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm the dancer. You're dancing oh, with the star. You, yeah. There's been a mistake. There's been yeah. a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that the last no, of the dances? No, uh, there's oh. two more. Oh, great. Uh, more okay. dancing. More dancing. She's oh. <laughs> hey. I do like that. I love that. Oh. This scene was really hard to cut together. Remember, Charlie? Yeah, it was. We spent a lot of fucking time on this. I don't know why. I like this a lot. Why are we doing it? <laughs> okay, yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. Tell you what, man, uh, roller skating was trickier than I thought it was going to be. Well, now you grew up. You grew up playing hockey. You grew up on ice skates. But I, I knew how to different... ice skate, but it felt different. It's also it's been different. a while since I've been on either. But we should have put you on blades. But that just doesn't have the same right. Look. That no, doesn't have the right no, look no, to yeah, it. Yeah. You know, they got to be on four a, wheels. A blade rink. Yeah, it's, yeah, a it's just rink. not the right thing. It's not the right thing. You know, um, you pulled it off. You pulled it off. It's yeah, a little scary. I moved around, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, here nice. we go. Okay, here we go, yeah. <laughs> so these girls are all... Yes. Like, but, skaters. Yeah. And Caitlin... <laughs> exactly she was having a hard time just standing mm-hmm. still. And do we want to give away which parts are, I think it's pretty obvious, right? Which parts are her and which parts oh, yeah. are her stunt double? <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin with the stunts. Yeah, yeah, boy. She could practically be a stunt man at this point. Stunt person. Stunt person. Well, that was the stunt person in that, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. That was the, that the was running the, into the wall? Uh, uh-huh. Actually hitting the wall, yes. That was the oh, stunt performer. Yes. Oh, oh, see, the magic of Hollywood, you didn't even you know. Didn't it. even notice. Well, I look forward to years of dancing with you with you all. Because that's the other thing. There's a time stamp on a dancer, like at 25, right. you're mm-hmm. old. So it's a lot different than like tough an aging body. comedian. Tough on yeah. the body. Yeah. An aging comedian. An aging comedian. At 45. Mm, an yeah. aging yeah. comedian. Yeah. <laughs> aging clowns yeah. have a tough time with it. You know? Middle-aged dancing yeah. clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Middle-aged dancing clowns have a tougher time with it. series, jock play point, young right? jock, it's going down. And that's where you gotta, that's where you do the... Pull it back. Yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta have the... I mean, if you're doing if you're doing your bike right, the, the, they're all the way up here. Yeah, they're, 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 seriously. Yeah, you're riding like this. You got the ape hangers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're... Nice. Organized choreographed right. dance. 